A warm welcome to Tech Boss program, .NET C Sharp Basics to help you sharpen your tech skills and be free. Be your own boss, work from home, get many tech tips and strategies and branding tips. These are based on my actual past pay trainings or consulting. And you can learn over 100 plus technologies that is necessary, necessary for the present and the future. So before we begin, we look at the testimonials. Uh, recently, someone said that it's an honor to talk to you. So we jump into the introduction. C Sharp and .NET is a powerful programming language and platform done by in Anders Hillsberg in 2000, and it belongs to Microsoft. Any C Sharp program ends with .cs. And for example, if you're going to draw a star that we're going to see the demo, it will end with uh, star.cs. Now, why C Sharp or .NET? It is highly secure. Uh, it's simple. Once you start learning it, it's very simple and it's loved by many developers. And it's one of the most high demand right now in, uh, in the market as of 2022. Uh, Java and .NET are highly in demand learned by many people around the globe. What are the top companies using uh, .NET? GoDaddy, Dell, Samsung and many more companies. So what are the benefits you get? You get to create secure applications. You convert your idea to a stable, fast application. You get to work from home and you get to know a skill which is highly demanded market. So you can earn a lot of money by knowing these skills. So what are the types of applications you can develop? You can develop web application, console application, game, machine learning, AI, graphics, and whatnot. The imagination is the only limit. So I, in my 15 years of career, I've done probably hundreds or thousands of .NET application itself, and it's uh, highly in demand. So, for example, I've done uh, a .NET application. Uh, for, it's a small application to read the uh, XML file for a huge healthcare client called uh, Primera. Then a full-fledged application from start to end uh, for Molina called Molina K2 Names Workflow. Uh, wherein healthcare in US is uh, very, uh, very uh, systematic and they have powerful systems and I was part of uh, developing these systems and uh, and a lot of console application has been done to analyze the entire uh, server information in his uh, around the globe in Copenhagen or Denmark or US or, uh, and a uh, lot of simple games can be done and we can draw applications and we'll see a demo of that to understand. So we look at few applications to understand. So of course we have the Visual Studio and all, but I'm going to start with something simple to help you understand the foundations where you can learn how to code in, uh, in Notepad itself. So this is a simple program, simply we will look at CS and the namespace. So for example, this is a Tecmos program. So I'm just going to use a namespace Tecmos and we are going to uh, have a simple program to understand the variables. So in C sharp, uh, it starts with you have it's object oriented. So you have a class program, and every uh, uh, function is written inside the static void main. It can have arguments or without arguments also we can do. And you have uh, different types of variables like short, integer, double, float. And here we are just going to use this. Uh, we are just going to add two numbers 10, 20 by storing them in three variables a, b, c. So look at this, we have console.write line. So we are just uh, uh, displaying A. The first argument is uh, in curly braces, zero means A value, then B value, and then C value. We're just adding these two numbers. What we'll do is we'll just try to multiply these two numbers. And this is a simple C sharp code ending in .cs. Now we are going to go to the uh, command prompt. So we have to, uh, and I'm just going to compile. So I'm going to the folder where the code is there. So I'm going to compile this program. Okay. So once, uh, how do you compile the program using CSC followed by the CS file? And now once you compile, so we have a exe file. So now uh, you see that the value a is 10, b is 20. Uh, so 10 into 20 is 100. So because of that read line, we have the cursor. So it's waiting for us to press enter. This is a simple console application. So like this, there are other applications. So we next we look at a simple draw star. Okay. 
So draw star dot exe itself will do. So what I'm doing is I'm going to draw the star in the code. I'm going to store that in a PNG. And uh, once that is done, so we can see that uh, this is a demo dot PNG and this has drawn the star using code. So in C sharp or any programming language, we need to have the proper libraries. So either you do from the scratch or you reuse a library where the things have been done. So we are trying to draw. So we're going to use the draw library and we are going to save it in, uh, inside a, a PNG file. So and I'm going to start indicating the pen object to start drawing. And I'm just using the point system to uh, find the coordinates and uh, draw using the add polygon function and save that in the demo.png. So the same type of logic can be used in real world applications. For example, if I want to sign a contract and I want you to sign it, I can uh, make you draw the signature and then save it. Or uh, if I want to create a certificate for you, I can uh, do a application in any programming language you want. So the logic is the same and the automation is powerful. So next we look at a proper Visual Studio application. So in the real world, I've come across and I've maintained big, big applications, probably 10,000 or 100,000 lines of code. I would not recommend that you have that many lines of code. So any Visual Studio application, it can be console or web application or any type of application. It is a project, it has certain properties and uh, there are various folders. So in this particular application, it's a simple spa application. So this is a web application. So it has a web.config file and uh, and this is uh, and the CS file and uh, even HTML, CSS, uh, various types of files. And this is a ready-made application where uh, this is a simple spa application where you are allowed to log in and you can register and uh, and we can create APIs or in, uh, we can see the details of the user using the get API. And uh, so these are ready-made applications and then you can modify it based on your business needs. So this is a solution explorer and you have uh, projects and the references contains the different uh, libraries you are referencing. And uh, see, uh, rather than uh, typing using system.drawing, they have this references where they actually have to right click and add a reference to the DLL, find where is the DLL. So if you are an expert now, I would rather go to the notepad and just type using system.drawing or system. So uh, if it's a big complicated project, you might have to have many DLLs. So for big, big, uh, big, big uh, functionality, you might have to have a big project and uh, should have a visual source safe or a, a GitHub where you're going to store the uh, various versions in a central repository and make sure if you're working with a team, you really have to do a lot of functions like you should have a development, UAT and production server and make sure the deployment goes smooth. So there are different types of applications you can create. And uh, so what are the different types of projects? You can create a console application, you can create a web application you can create python you can create sharepoint custom applications and a lot of different applications you can do so and uh, we will look at sharepoint now because i'm going to showcase a powerful dotnet application called sharepoint sharepoint is actually done on top of uh, .NET itself so i'll show you how it is a dotnet application to help you understand so these are the different types of dotnet applications you can do from visual studio visual studio makes things fast and easy and you have powerful intelligence and uh, there are many good advantages of using Visual Studio when it's a huge application. You can create APIs, a lot of things you can do. So now let's look at the SharePoint. So this is a simple SharePoint page. So look at this. If you observe, it ends in ASPX. So these are called ASPX pages, custom pages done in .NET. So if you look at the pages folder, even the home page is actually a .NET page. So SharePoint is actually a powerful .NET application where you can create a web page or website in a single click. So this particular page has been created in a single click, probably seconds or max one minute it would take to render all these things. And you have various functionalities automatically created uh, like the site permissions, the site users, who are the owners, members, visitors, and who can log in. All those things are automatically done in SharePoint. If you do a custom .NET application, it might take months or years to finish that. 
and uh, so uh, SharePoint is a complex .NET application and sometimes you might have to do complex .NET applications too. Before it was only .NET, nowadays there are too many options and uh, I would say it, uh, I, and it was actually better off with the simple .NET application. Nowadays uh, uh, people are using different jargons and uh, uh, different different uh, and terms are used but I would just say keep it simple and uh, easy all the time. So let's look at the best practices. So you have to keep it simple always. So unless it's needed, uh, try to keep the lines of code less and uh, and less uh, the people better because you know that too many cooks can spoil the broth, too many developers can spoil the application. So because it, uh, it so if you take the big big applications like YouTube and all, they don't have too many people, just few people helping millions of people. So that is possible with the power of technology. Have a simple idea which can help all the performance matters. So I can actually take a big session just for performance. So let's uh, share simple things like the garbage allocation matters. When you're creating a variable, it should be disposed. And uh, you have to make sure that uh, uh, unnecessary loops are not there and keep it uh, clean and the code is readable or uh, and think long term. Okay, Think long term and do the application. And uh, the migration can be a headache sometimes. So think long term and do the application and store uh, the code in uh, each version try to store it sometimes you might have to revert back to the old version so store all the copies of the code for your own benefit so we saw various demo and in the future it's going to be way easier more ai and quantum and a lot of features are coming in the future it's going to be even more fun and uh, easy to code probably we will be just dragging and dropping you really don't have to code uh, in the future coding also might can be automated so thank you so much. You're an awesome uh, coder. And uh, if you are interested in uh, uh, getting in-depth training in .NET, there are a lot of uh, options available. You can get instant online course or exclusive course for the topics you need. Or you can get, there are brilliant trainers available with more than 10 years of experience. So you can have a, uh, if you are a group of people trying to learn, uh, so the experts can help you out in crash course or 10 day course or 21 day course or based on your need and if you are a client needing uh, uh, .NET support but if you have chosen .NET for your uh, idea to uh, application so just feel free to contact uh, I mean email in the comment section uh, or, or just uh, so you can check out the description to see the contact details and you can contact me there. so you're all welcome to join to the tech circle. You can uh, go to thango.com slash groups and join the tech circle for uh, various updates where various opportunities are shared and uh, to help you get a dream opportunity. So thank you so much. I wish you grand success. Take care. Bye-bye.